what is one thing that makes you feel spooky? Not your horse, but what spooks you, especially when you're with your horse? I've been thinking about this a lot lately, and today's a great day for me to tackle it because I'm sitting in my garage where my tack locker is, and I am not with Cody at the farm because the wind gusts are 38 miles per hour today. And something that spooks me is wind. Uh, it has been just an issue over the last five to six years in returning to riding. I really have noticed that I get really tense in the wind and I could not figure out why it's just wind, but it would just send my blood pressure through the roof. I was having a conversation with my sister about that. She's like, Lise, we lived through three hurricanes that radically impacted our lives. And I was like, huh? She's right, we did. I was in sixth grade when Hurricane Gloria hit Long Island where I lived. We were without power for 10 days. It was the first time that I ever lived through a hurricane. Trees came down all around us and it was really scary as a child. And then as an adult with kids of my own, we lived through two back-to-back -back hurricanes on Long Island. And both of those hurricanes significantly impacted us. One of the hurricanes, we were only without power a couple of days, but the trees brushed our house as they came down. The other hurricane, we were without power in the cold of October for many days in a row. Uh, there was a gas shortage. I mean, it was enough to make me scary without going on and on and on about the impact of wind and hurricanes. So the way our brain and our body works together is a survival response system, right? And so if it's a perceived threat of harm, our body is going to go into that sympathetic nervous system response. And fight, flight, freeze is what's gonna kick into gear. And so for me, the sound of wind activates what my body remembers in terms of the fear of what I went through in the past. So some people would be like, well, is there any hope of healing from that? And there is, there's definitely hope for healing. But that has to first start with awareness and letting go of the shame and the guilt. Like I would just get into the the farm, get to the farm and it would be really windy and it'd be like, just suck it up, Sally. It's not that big of a deal. It's just wind. Your horse is not spooky over this. Just go do the thing. Instead of being gracious with myself and saying, no, this disrupts my ability to be calm and connected. And so what do I need to do based on how I am that day? And there's another factor at play. It's, it's called trigger stacking. So if I'm already tired, already hungry, already stressed out about work, already you know, concerned about something with the kids or something in my personal life, my capacity to manage that trigger is going to be worse that particular day than it would be if I had a really good night of sleep, I'm on vacation, everybody's doing fine at home. And then I'll be like, yeah, I enter that not as a boiling pot of water, but I enter that situation pretty placid and calm, right? So the way I face these triggers, especially in, in today's situation with the wind, is saying, yeah, not going out of my house today. I'm not going to the farm. It's been a rough season for me. I'm taking care of myself and I'm staying home and I'm going to pivot and it's gonna be okay with my horse and it's gonna be okay with me. And allowing that opportunity to say, nope, not today. And this is a biggie for lots of people who live in a black and white thinking pattern where if I say no today, I'll say no forever. That's black and white thinking. No, I can say no today. And next time the winds are 38 miles per hour, I might be in a different frame of mind and I'll be okay saying yes. I don't know if I'll ever be okay on 38 mile per hour winds, but I could make the decision today for today, be in the here and now in this present moment. And that is the last part that I want to share with you. When those triggers come up, I'm able and you are able to be in the here and now. So I can say to myself, yep, the wind is scary because I remember the damage that it has done and can do. But right now there is no hurricane. Right now I am safe. Right now I am taken care of. And right now I'm making decisions that are good for me. And even just saying that right now, recording this with you puts me in such a better frame of mind. So I would encourage you to think about what it is like 
to be triggered. What are your triggers? Is it wind? Is it the color of the sky? Is it a smell? Is it a sound? Is it a time of year? What are your top triggers that activate and steal your peace and your calm? And how can you respond to those triggers with more awareness, more kindness, and more grace as you continue to be the equestrian and the horse person that you desire to be? My name is Lisa Pulliam, and I am here with the Junk in Your Trunk episode with Horse Class and Stable Minded. My passion is to help uh, equestrians and women improve their overall wellness and performance. If you have questions for me, don't hesitate to leave a message. If you have a comment, feel free to leave it below. And if you would like more of these episodes, feel free to submit your questions so I can tackle them in the next Junk in Your Trunk episode. See you next time.